welcome to a special episode of One Angry Black Republican Podcast. This is episode 14 of season 2. And, you know, I had to, you know, do this podcast, especially in the the week of, you know, this current or recent gas crisis that um, the Democratic Party has thrust upon us yet again. You know, so let's you know get into this any of this. You know, we, we're in the middle of you know a gas crisis in you know, pretty much uh, several uh, states in America. Uh, some states are at almost twenty percent of the you know gas uh, stations. You know, having really no fuel uh, to sell to the people. You know, put you know where where you know under 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 Trump, you know you know gas you know was you know America was pretty much independent uh, in in terms of uh, you know gasoline, but you know for the last six months, you know and and this was interesting because you know and I'm and I'm using you know Wawa you know, for, you know, my, my, my reference point here as my reference point here. But as soon as the Democratic Party took office, uh, you know, took, you know, the presidency uh, and, and mind you, you know, they, they, you know, took the Senate and the Congress, you know, so pretty much Democrats are running the country completely. OK, you know, so what needs to be done, they have the floor at this point, you know, pun intended, they have the floor. So immediately, Wawa, we saw went gas went from like a buck and some change, maybe a buck 50, a buck 90 per gallon. Almost immediately, Wawa, see, Wawa was slick. Okay, Wawa, you know, started, you know, like, like, like every week, Wawa had a new price for gas leading up to almost three bucks and some change per gallon of gas. Now, this started right from the gate in uh, in January, right from the gate in January. This started. OK, fast forward to, you know, this week uh, and we're in, you know, May, uh, the, the second week in May. A cyber attack. A cyber attack that, you know, leads to, you know, first of all, colonial gas, you know, responsible for, you know, supplying a large percentage of the East Coast with gasoline. You're telling me, uh, you know, all of a sudden, six months into as gas prices are already going up. Okay, already going up. See, this is one of those Pelican brief moments for me, you know, in the Pelican brief. You know, you know, there's always some, you know, quote unquote, real time, you know, uh, mo- event and, and, a, and, a, and a reasoning behind that event that is usually smoke screened by a series of other distractions. And that's what's happening now. OK, that's what's happening now. You know, we, we we're being distracted again. We're talking about uh, so a cyber attack now is the the justification of the of the cause of gas prices going you know you know skyrocketing you know again skyrocket inflation because there's other areas of the economy that have inflated as a result of you know this governmental exchange or this you know change of power exchange of power that's the issue. In terms of, you know, the American system, the American system operates on an algorithm that is very, very specific. Okay, between administrations. And we're not going to get into the nuts and bolts of all that. What I'm concerned with today is just pulling the blinders off of this, you know, nonsensical explanation because I'm going to be I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to be very clear here. I do not believe that you know the this gas crisis is the result 
of some cyber attack. Not in, uh, you know, not in, not, not, not in this moment. Not in this moment. We're talking about, you know, a government that is notoriously, uh, you know, pulling off. I mean, think about the entire assassination era, you know, where, you know, we are, we, we were fought watching our leaders, you know, fall like ducks in a row. Okay. We have a government that has no problem taking out what it needs to do in order to support the fractured foundation. It does what it needs to do to support an already fractured foundation from becoming more exacerbated and more overblown. That's what our government is notorious for, especially under democratic rule, okay? There's a lack of integrity as far as the Democratic Party is concerned. And that's why, you know, this, you know, you know, this, this, you know, smokescreen agenda or this smokescreen reason of some cyber attack leading to uh, the gas crisis when we already saw gas prices off the chain in January when the Democratic Party took office. This is a Democratic smokescreen. The Democratic Party is responsible for this gas crisis. And, and, and the bottom line, that's it. And over time, you know, we're going to see the reality as this evidence continues to unfold, pointing out all of the, you know, the, the all of the, pointing out the entire dynamic that speaks to, uh, you know, this, this, this reality that we're under as far as the Democratic Party is concerned. You know, shame on you, Joe Biden. You know, shame on you, Kamala Harris. Shame on the Democratic Party for constantly uh, putting people last. This is the moment where we have got to recalibrate and reorganize as a Republican Party. It is it is it is now dire that the Republican Party experienced some unity. OK. New Jersey, we need to get this Governor Murphy out of office. We need to get him out of office and we need to reestablish a sound Republican Party underneath leadership that will not waver. We need leadership in America, in New Jersey, that will not waver. OK, Hirsch Singer for governor. Peace out on this special episode of One Angry Black Republican Podcast.